Hey guys, I'm here to do another unboxing, review, sort of first look at another car from Westside Hobbies and Toys. And uh, this car is the Maverick Strada Evo S. Uh, this is the monster truck version of their uh, Strada uh, range of cars, which are one tenth scale cars. And uh, yeah, so check out this monster truck, it's pretty cool looking from the front. Uh, I'm going to show you just quickly what else comes in the box. Uh, you've got you get your uh, traditional charger, which is really smart. They include all the different uh, leads, uh, plugs, plugs that you can use in every country, so you're not going to have any problems with having the wrong sort of plug. Then you've also got your traditional manual. Um, it's nice that they include a full um, manual here. It looks plenty detailed. They're going to have um, everything you need to know in there. You've also got a cross wrench. These things are incredibly helpful. They help you. Uh, take off your wheels and tyres when if you want to swat, switch them out, and then you've got your uh, spacers here, which helps you to adjust the uh, dampening of the shocks and how stiff you want them to be. Whether you want to have stiffer shocks than uh, what is already on there. Also, show you the remote while I'm at it. Uh, the remote is a 2.4 gigahertz uh, radio. It is very nice in the hand. It's actually quite a quite a nice, comfortable. Uh, ready to run radio, uh, uses 4 AA, so that's nice and easy. Uh, and you got all your normal adjustments up here steering and throttle dual rates, and your trims here, and also steering and throttle reversing. So, let's have a look at the actual car here. Let me just go through a couple of details um, while it's sitting here. Uh, it is four wheel drive. Uh, it is it has very good ground clearance, so it's very good for going off-road, doing jumps in the grass, in the dirt, uh, everything like that. It's definitely more preferred to an off-road terrain than it is to an on-road terrain. Um, while looking at it here, these tyres, uh, they're very nice tyres, got thick lugs there which are going to provide you really good grip in things like dirt and the grass. Um, you might find that if you run this on-road quite a lot, uh, they will wear down quickish, um, but they are a medium to hard compound, so they should last you quite a while, yet still give you pretty good grip. Uh, so let's take your body off. There's your body, looks pretty nice, got graphics on there, um, not much else to tell you about that. So this version of the uh, Maverick Strider is the brushless version. So let me just turn this around and show you the brushless system that it has in here. Uh, so it does have a standard five, uh, 540 size motor, I'm pretty sure that it is, and it's a 3200 kV motor, uh, which is very nice, very good quality looking motor, and then you've got an 80 amp ESC as well, uh, which is also very good, which will also allow for LiPo batteries, um, and then you've got your 2.4 gigahertz receiver there, and this is where you'll put your antenna. So it's only a nice short antenna, so you're not going to worry about that sticking out the top of your body uh, because it's just nice and short. Uh, then you've got your servo here, standard sort of servo, one tenth, so one tenth scale size. Uh, you've also got a uh, battery that is included. This is a six cell nickel, uh, six cell. NIM battery. Uh, it is a 3000 milliamp battery, so that should give you about a 15 to 20 minute run time, which is plenty just for your uh, beginner sort of person that is just getting an RC and getting into it. And you can then upgrade that in uh, years to come or months to come whenever you want to upgrade the, the battery so that you get more run time and uh, a bit more power to your car. Uh, you can tell that this battery tray also allows for larger size batteries. As you can see there, it's got heaps of room, uh, so you'll really be able to fit any sort of sized battery you want into there, uh, as it does include this foam, uh, foam block as well, so that it doesn't slide around in there. Uh, then down the middle, you've got this aluminium chassis brace, which is really nice. It's going to keep it nice and strong down the middle of the car. It's going to stop uh, breakages in the chassis as that's going to help strengthen that. It is just a plastic tub chassis that goes around. It is nice. It's got these side walls to stop extra dirt from getting into there. Um, let's move on and show you the gear cover. It's good gear cover. It's going to protect you from getting any dirt 
and sticks and rocks or whatever. Uh, which is really nice. Gear. It's got a gear cover on there. As you can see, down in the middle there, that aluminium drive shaft, which provides the power to the front and the back. Uh, also in here, I will tell you that it is a center differential, which is really nice. That they've included yeah three differentials, which means it's going to give you really smooth uh, riding, really smooth uh, driving. And then let's go on to the suspension. Uh, we've gone through everything in the middle of the car. Let's show you the suspension. So this car does run a eight shock setup. Uh, they are oil filled shocks. You can adjust the spring rates, the stiffness of your shocks by putting those included uh, preload spacers onto them. You've also got metal or aluminium shock caps and this is going to help prevent shock caps from popping off which you do experience in some other cars which have plastic shock caps so it's nice that they include uh, metal shock caps there. Um, moving on down here you can see that it has a dog bone uh, drive shafts, metal dog bones which is nice, they should uh, not give you any problems, they should be plenty tough and strong for this car. Um, just your regular A-arm a -arm suspension, uh, you've got adjustments on the front and rear turn buckles uh, which is nice. It's got good front and rear bumpers which have an interesting setup where they have springs uh, here so you can see that they will actually absorb uh, hits that you might take to the front or the rear of your uh, car and it's going to dampen uh, the shock and, and stop uh, extra things from within your car from breaking. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed learning about this car and seeing what it's all about, what it's got in it, some of the features of it. Uh, this car is running for $369 at Westside Hobbies and Toys in Blacktown in Sydney. Um, please come check it out if any of you are interested in buying one, there's a link to the uh, their website in the description below uh, or definitely come and check it out in the shop and uh, thanks for watching and I guess I'll see you guys later